when you're diving into th this race, and I mean, you already mentioned the image of her coming down the LA freeway there kind of is, is what pops yeah. out into your mind, right? But yeah. As you revisited it while you were putting this book together, was there any one thing that kind of jumped out at you as far as like, I can't believe this angle hasn't been talked about more, or I never knew this, you know, e e even happened, let alone to this degree when you were doing your research? Uh, you know, so one one thing that I think is is sort of underplayed uh and and it's underplayed to Greta Weitz's credit. Um, the day before the marathon, Greta Weitz woke up and she couldn't walk. She something. <laughs> it, I I'm telling you, this whole book is like a bad sports movie. Like uh, you know, like I I mentioned, Joan Benoit, you know, has knee surgery. Uh, you know, 17 days for Olympic trials. Like she shouldn't have been able to run at the Olympic trials. She shouldn't have been able to make the team at all. But you know, miraculously, she comes back and she wins the Olympic trials and and goes on to win gold. Um, but Greta Weitz woke up the morning before the Olympics and overnight something had seized in her back. She woke up and she literally couldn't get out of bed and she kind of, she struggles and she limps to the kitchen. Um, they, they call her coach. Uh, they, they're going, undergoing all kinds of treatment all morning, just so she can maybe make it to the starting line, but nothing is, nothing is working. Um, and, you know, obviously she's in tears, like their coach is, is beside himself is, um, and, and one of the trainers, uh, who is, you know, obviously well-versed in, in modern sports medicine, um, says to her, uh, okay, fill up a backpack with heavy stuff, put it on, walk around, um, and it works <laughs> like it it uh Greta I don't I, I don't know if you know Greta's deceased but um and so her husband Jack is recounting this story and and he says you know this woman was like a he he, he says it, it's it's like a Norwegian term but it's almost like a witch doctor it's almost like a folk doctor like medicine kind of thing is put this backpack on and and with heavy stuff and walk around and and it started to relieve some of the tension somehow right and so um so it it was entirely possible that that Weitz never even makes it to the line for the Clash of Titans. But she wakes up, obviously, you know, if you can imagine like the race of your life, all this happens. She wakes up and and is I shouldn't even say wakes up. She didn't really sleep, but yeah. she, you know, she gets out of bed and miraculously she can move okay. Everything's really tight because obviously she'd been so tense um all day the day before. Um and and you know, she gets into the race. She has no idea if her back's going to seize up again, um, but but she's able to run again. So there's always this, that's a story that that I had heard uh, sort of in passing, but I didn't really realize how bad it was. And, and I say to Greta's credit, because she's never emphasized it and she's never used it as an excuse. And she's never, you know, she said, I ran the race I wanted to race and nobody was going to beat Joni that day, no matter what. Yeah.